Hi friends, this is Future Editing Me here, and I most definitely have mascara smudged under my eyes, but please ignore that. Um, I just popping in here to say that I'm getting this footage off my phone first so I can finish editing my audition vlog. So that's why you're seeing this thrift with me first so that I can get the footage off my phone because I record everything on my phone and I don't have enough space, um, but for one video at a time. So please enjoy this little thrift with me at Oak Forest Vintage. It was right across the street from Ballet, Arkansas. And I had so much fun browsing through there. So I hope you enjoy exploring with me in the 80s and 90s themed nostalgia that we were buried nose deep in. So come thrift with me. this oak forest vintage i am so excited this 80s and 90s oh i've been wanting one of these wicker shelves for so long Ah, oh, if only i could take it home look at this coca-cola jersey it's so sick i cannot wait to poke around in here let's go inside all right, guys, we are inside the store and I had to record this voiceover because the music was so loud, but I'm pointing to the satisfying color gradient of t-shirts on the wall over there. And I'm gonna show you some of the knickknacks everywhere. I found the Furby immediately because I used to have one. I was obsessed. And I also loved this wave t-shirt up there. I really wanted it, but it was so high up. And then check out all the plush that they've got. They've even got Frosted Flakes. They had a bunch of Wheaties boxes and all kinds of stuff that I will show you throughout this video. So this is just an overview of just how overwhelming it is when you walk in. It's amazing. Um, so first I went over to the sweaters because I'm obsessed and I loved this cardigan. How 80s is this? Look at the buttons. It was 22 bucks. Then I found this little kid's airplane sweater. How sweet is that? And I'm pretty sure that I had this pink zip up when I was little, like not little, but younger. I'm pretty sure I had that exact thing. And I also loved this stripe with the little wintry pattern at the bottom. Now, purple is my obsession, specifically 90s purple. I don't know what it's called, violet. This color of 90s purple is my absolute favorite purple on earth. Then I really loved this color block moment, nice and soft and oversized. And this vest was probably my favorite. It was a Polo Ralph Lauren, but on the back, it was England and it had the little flag. So I loved that as well. I found this Skippy peanut butter shirt and I almost got it because I love Skippy peanut butter. It's my favorite brand. It was only 20 bucks on the 20 buck rack. And this I almost got as well, but I ended up not getting it as Alice in Wonderland. Look at the caterpillar graphic. And then on the back, it had the Cheshire cat and the tea party. So, so sick. The tie-dye in this store was unreal, and I'll tell you more about that later, but this is me just finishing off the $20 rack. Some more wall exploring. I found this insane basketball graphic. So crazy. And then who remembers Silly Symphonies? I could not believe they had a little bag up there. And then this is just Foghorn Leghorn and all his troll and Pokemon friends up on the shelf. They had everything you could think of nostalgia-wise for the 90s and 80s in this store. What am I zooming on here? Oh, Dancerella. Look at her pointed feet. How sweet is she? And I love the Barbie next to her as well. So 80s. Then over here, there is a Beach Boys sweatshirt, I'm pretty sure. The song Fun, Fun, Fun is a Beach Boys song, but again, it was high up. I was joking with my dad about this. I've flown Southwest so much for auditions lately that they really should sponsor me at this point. And then I found this tie-dye Southwest graphic and I brought it home with me. I could not resist. A triple crown Southwest, that's absolutely me. 
Hey Southwest, if you're listening, sponsor me and my channel. Thank you. Um, then I was obsessed with these Hawaii graphics. This first one has beautiful colors and the other one had sea turtles. Are you kidding? So pretty. I just love the tie-dye in this shop. Then the rest of the tie-dye rack was just some basic crops. They were all pretty cute, um, but very satisfyingly organized in rainbow order. That one was Egyptian, very cool. There's a couple of tank tops that I liked as well. I really like that purple one a lot. And then this University of Hawaii one, volleyball, super cool. Love that too. Amazing graphic. Who else was obsessed with Land Before Time and dinosaurs when they were younger? Because that was absolutely me. This was my shelf dedicated to me. <laughs> then I went over to the pants section. These are some crazy Murica jeans that I found. And then some really pretty wool pants. I should not be looking through the pants section because I have way too many pants, but they had some pretty cool ones, but I did pass them up because again, I have too many pants. I did go through the Christmas sweaters just to see if there were any vintage nutcracker ones, and sadly there were not any, but I came across this hooked on phonics graphic and this made me laugh so hard because who remembers hooked on phonics? Another Southwest Airlines gem. With the old colorway, I guess. I don't remember the planes looking like that. Um, then I found Scooby and Shaggy chilling in the corner. Here's me in a giant mirror. Hello. And more stuff on the walls with these very satisfying Polo Ralph Lauren polo guys just chilling over there on the other side of the store. Um... Yeah, this is the back of the store where all the crazy dresses were. I found Scooby-Doo again. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I very nearly picked this up. I think it was a pajama shirt though, and it was a little too big. And this, I really almost bought this too because it's my favorite color purple. And come on, Wiley Coyote, look at his face. How big of a mood is that? This is some more sick tie-dye, snowboarder dude. This was a really cool hoodie. And this whole rack was all tie-dye by the same artist that I showed you early, earlier. I can't speak. Um, then I found this Tommy, uh, not Tommy Bahama, Tommy Hilfiger color blocked shirt that was super high fashion. And then I got to the vintage rack. So I started off with this 80s blazer set, very nice. Then this was a little 70s, very thin cotton dress. It didn't have a price on it, unfortunately, so I didn't pick it up. There were some really cute dresses in this section, as you'll see this little striped moment and the tropical red prints were giving me life. It is so close to summer. We are almost there. Um, the colors also in this section just blew my socks off. That's a fun little mesh number. And then this was a pants suit. Are you kidding me? A pants suit with the 70s floral? Get out of here. Um, then we have this really pretty dress with a necktie, some more tropical prints, gorgeous colors just sort of sifting through here. All of these were not really my size, so I didn't really pick up any dresses today, but I really enjoyed seeing all the beautiful colors that were hanging here. I really love this floral print that was there. Again, it was not my size, but it was beautiful. Nice for the summer with the florals. Picking up the green to see what it was, because it is St. Patrick's Day weekend. And then there were a couple of fun tops on the end. I really like that yellow one and this vintage poncho moment. Love that. Strawberries, little bib top. And there were a couple of fun crop tops on the end here. My favorite one is probably this one on the end with the little tie at the front. Super sweet. One of my favorite graphic t-shirts of the day, overworked and underpaid. If there was a shirt for the year 2024, this would be that shirt. Um, that was very tempting, but I did pass it up. I also like this one that said, Jesus is my captain. 
super cute. Um, and again, the colors were color coded and organized. I finally found the Nutcracker. He was on a Pringles can. And there was some more fun memorabilia up there, including this Twilight reference. Your scent is like a drug to me. <laughs> it made me laugh. And we're home from <laughs> the vintage store. That was so much fun. Um, I only purchased one shirt and it was obviously this Southwest Triple Crown. This is so cool, but here's our little Southwest friend on the back. I'm so tempted to wear this on the plane home. It's so funny. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the guy at the checkout counter told me that he was the one that tie-dyed this and he tie-dyed half of that stuff that I showed you guys that was tie-dye. It was him. He did it himself. So, and on the tag, he said, this is his Instagram. I don't know if you can scan that through the screen or not. I don't know how that works, but that's the name of his Instagram, Better Built. Um, so I'm going to go follow his Instagram. You should go follow his Instagram. Um, his stuff is really cool. Um, and then the other tag tells the decade and like what he did to it. So dyed, bleached, handcrafted. And then this says 90s. So it's a 90s Southwest shirt, but... Um, I am super pumped. I, you may catch me in the airport with this on. Dear Southwest, you should sponsor me at this point. Honestly, seriously, like <laughs> it's the only airline I use at this point in time. But that is all I thrifted on this trip. There was so much stuff, you guys. Honestly, I think I was a little overwhelmed. <laughs> there were so many cool things. Um, but when I go on these trips, when I'm out of state with just a carry on suitcase, I try and be very picky. So I only leave with the pieces that I absolutely must have. And that was a must have. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my first ever little thrift with me. This is not a typical thrift meet with me situation. I'm normally at the Goodwill or at the Goodwill bins or Salvation Army or somewhere more affordable. But this was a really cool little vintage shop that I wanted to check out. It was right across the street from Ballet, Arkansas. I literally walked out the door and there it was. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. There was some really sick stuff in there. Definitely check out Oak Forest Vintage if you're ever in Little Rock. Coolest place ever. So thanks for watching and I will see you on our next thrift trip. Bye.